Imagine sending your dog to a trusted training service, only to have them returned in a horrifying state. Covered in feces, severely underweight with rashes, missing fur, and, in one shocking case, filed teeth. This was the reality for hundreds of pet owners who fell victim to a couple running a fraudulent dog training scam. They swindled over $300,000, betraying the trust of loving pet owners and leaving a trail of devastation. How did this happen? And how did they get away with it? Here's what happened next. Yeah. Just, Jennifer, just come out now! Cuff her in the front, and I'll let her sit with her kid until we can get somebody for her kid. I think she'll, she's got her mom that should be able to come get her. Jennifer! Jennifer! Well, we'll have to watch the kitchen too because it goes around, I think. Jennifer! Jennifer! Show yourself. We're at the end of the hall. Show me your hands up the head. Face away from me. Face away from me. And walk back towards my voice. Walk back. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Face away from me. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming Good back, job. keep coming back, keep coming back. Keep coming back. Front. Front. I got it. Jennifer? Matthew, you will be here. Hey, turn around, turn around. Where is face your child? Face me, Jennifer. Face me. Alright. I did. Okay. Jennifer, search warrant for your house again. <laughs> you guys, you guys have to stop this. You're in, you're in trouble, you understand I'm that? I'm in trouble? Yeah. I've got a arrest warrant for you. Oh my god. So you got somebody to come get your kids? Yes, my dad's coming. He's already on Why am I in trouble for I'll him? What, I'll explain all that to you here shortly. No. Okay, we gotta clear the house, but you should come out. Why, why wouldn't you guys come out? We didn't have to break the door again. This is ridiculous. Clear the house. You need to clear the house. I'm going to want to talk to you. Why if, am these I are, if, if these are customers' dogs, I'm going to need the customers' phone numbers so they can come get them. Okay. So, so I'm going to talk to you, but wait till we clear the house. i got to make sure the house is safe, okay? Oh, God. Oh, Why am I in trouble? She's behind. Back and come around. the last time if you remember. I, didn't I said I said I said Jennifer talk to me help yourself out and you just you chose not to talk to me and so here we are again I you know, didn't know this had anything to do this is very serious this is this not is very serious that's his business though I know but I'll talk to you here in a minute just hold on a minute you want to try to talk to her again yeah I I want I want to cut my thank you man okay well, that's why I got this one try with him again this is all we could, yeah, we could even try with oh, him. Yeah, I, I plan to, but I already buy his attitude. He, yeah. he Three dogs in the house. Three dogs created. <laughs> she, she already told me she'll help me find the owners. Good. For Perfect. these dogs. So okay. I want to talk to her first. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know that I want to do a full blown. I want to read my and get the dog owners until I'll come down to the field and talk to her and then go get the other one. Sound good? She might, she might be willing to do it here with the kid here. Okay, we can try that. Oh, right the next She's going to give it to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, well, one has a good collar on it, maybe. Then, but yeah, she she, she's going to give me the information. I'll have you guys call him. me and Greg, and I'll try to talk to her real quick. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> you know what this one's name is over here? Oh, okay. Shh. So, kind of like the last time, we wanted to talk to you. Here's the situation. He has to tell you in the ring. Okay? You do have a lot of questions. So, number one priority, you want to get these dogs back to their owners. Okay? So, you know, that's, that's the number two priority after your son getting. You so, your, his, dad, his grandpa's coming? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you your Miranda rights. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Okay. I'm a detective with Tactical Crime Suppression Unit, and you are hereby advised that you have certain rights as follows. You have the right to remain silent. You do not have to make any statements or answer any questions. You understand? 
Anything you say can or be used against you the law. Do you understand? Yes. You have a right to speak with the lawyer for advice before you are asked any questions. You have a right to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. You cannot afford a lawyer. A lawyer appointed by the court or a lawyer from the public defender's office will be provided to you for and during questioning without any cost. Do you understand? Yes. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand? Yes. Now that you understood your rights, we have some questions for you if you're willing to talk to us without a lawyer present. We won't, we won't talk to you. I told you last time how serious it was, and I think you kind of didn't understand the severity of it. I, I don't understand so, because I'm not, I, and not what, his girlfriend. And that's, and that's I don't understand. We, Jennifer, that's what we want to talk to you about. So, and, and I want to find the owners of these dogs. So if you want to talk with us and help us out here, and you may be able to help yourself I out. I don't understand. Why am I being arrested? I'm, I'm going to explain all that, but I have to understand. Know that you want to talk to me. You want to talk to us? You can stop at any time. So, and I need the, I need the owners of these dogs. So you want? So can we talk about it? So maybe you can understand better. Understand what's going on. Can you just tell me why I'm being arrested? I don't understand. Because you're part of Jason business. No, I'm not you, a part of his are. business. We've got you accepting money for him, for his dogs. Why I do. We, his, we do. I've got your Venmo accounts. His girlfriend, what Oh, my God. You're, you're wrapped up in this right now, and we want to talk to you. He is our primary target. I'm not his But he's got you. But he, I didn't say you're his girlfriend. But he's got you wrapped up in this, Jennifer. This is all his fault. So I don't want you to try to protect him. I just want you to tell us the truth about what's going on. And at some point, you got to think about number one. Right. Because you, you got yourself. two kids. This is a very serious charges. This isn't just a dog train case like he's talking about. These are very serious charges. So, can you talk to us? One, at least, can you at least give us the dog owner's names? I, I don't have their information. Can't you get it from him? No, oh, he, last time he wouldn't give me any information. Yeah, I don't have, like I said, this is his business. Um, try to help a friend out. Um... This is his business. Him and his girlfriend are broken up right now. And, um, Who's that? Um, that's wrong. The girl from another state. Um, are you talking about Tabitha? Um, the one he's been training dogs with. <sighs> I I don't know. There's an, a wife and um, girlfriend. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know who else would, I don't know, one of them would probably know. Okay, is the girlfriend still helping him train? I don't know what he does. I'm just being honest. I don't know uh, what he does. But, but you're not being honest because... What do you see? Just be honest. Let's say, put yourself in, in the shoes of a customer of his business. Knowing what you know, seeing what you see... Is he really training these dogs? <coughs> Take care of yourself. And this starts right here. Can you tell me what, like, what charges I'm? I don't understand what charges am I facing? Because I'm Sergeant just, Munchie can uh, explain all so the charges. It's a, it's a conspiracy, essentially. Because this is not anything to do with me. That's why we're trying to talk to you here. That's why we're trying to talk to you here. You are wrapped up in it, both by records, finances. Obviously, living with him. I mean, these, this business no, is doesn't. operating in this house. He doesn't live here. He's been here every single time but that we've, we've come here. here. We've sat on surveillance, watching the house more times than I can count. He's always here. He's been living here for months. Okay? You've got to stop trying to protect him, and you've got to start trying to protect yourself. Yep. Just tell us the truth about what he's doing with these dogs. Just be blunt. He is nowhere close. He is in a cruiser. He might have even left by now on his way to the jail. Yeah, he's out in a cruiser. He can't hear you. He cannot hear you. 
and he won't be around you anytime soon anyway. But he's brought this into your house with your, you and your kids and got you into this. So I don't understand why you're wanting to protect them. I hope you think more about yourself and your kids than you do this guy that you don't even know that well. We're here at this point because the investigation is complete. Everything that we need, we have. Okay, we have so many people who have called and complained to the police about the things he's doing to them, their animals, and how he's treating people. The only person who remains defending him right now is you. Jennifer, we already know his scheme, the whole scam. We already know it. We've documented it. We've been investigating this for months, like I told you the last time. The only difference was last time I asked you to help yourself out and help us out and not let him drag you into this. But you've apparently chosen to let him come back here and continue this scam in your house. And that's what's drug you into this mess. So the only thing that gets you out of this mess or help get you out of this mess is you. And that's that's by telling us the truth and telling us what's going on, what he's doing. Right now you have the opportunity to talk to us in the privacy of your own house. Okay? If, if we end up down at the jail or in a police department, other people around, other people can see. Okay? We don't want that. We, we want to talk to you right here. You have to I just don't understand how I'm being brought into this. But the cu customer complaints and all what you just said, that's all of his. I don't have anything to do with that. So, so, so tell us tell us what this? he's doing. If you don't want to tell us what you're doing, tell us what he's doing. But I'm not doing anything. I, this is I'm not just asking what he you're was doing. Staying, he was What's staying he here. And I, I was <sighs> blindsided with uh, being brought into the house. How, like, how often do you see him out actually training dogs, or does he just leave him in the kennel the whole day? And keep in yes. mind, I've talked to all your neighbors, and we've had surveillance on the house. How often is he actually out training dogs? It's, well, I'm not here. <laughs> all you can do is say what you see. So I can do. <laughs> do you work anywhere? I have a special needs kid, child. So that's kind of a full-time job here at the house? So yeah. you're here at the house? Oh, appointments. Your... Okay, I'm but you're here home. at the house with your kid a good bit. So if <coughs> you see him training? And I'm with my mom a lot at their house. <sighs> these, are, these are also excuses. By, by keeping this to yourself, you are defending him. Okay. When you're here, do you see him doing anything with the dogs? What do you see? I Where guess I'm do? just confused how I'm being brought into this when it's not my business. It's, it's operating under your roof, for one. But That's it's not my obvious. business. But, okay, if, if, if well, let's, let's turn it around and say it's a drug case. It's not. But let's just yeah, yeah. use this example. And we do a search warrant at 123 Main Street because we think one person in the house is selling drugs. The other person who owns the house, lives in the house, is just as liable for the drugs under that roof. Okay, it's kind of the same thing. Sorry, um, yeah. we're... Is my dad here? Not yet. All you can do is speak for yourself and what you've seen. Okay, and that's, that's why we're taking this time to stop and talk to you. Okay, we want you... We want you to cooperate. We want your help with this because at the end of the day, it is his responsibility. And he has roped in some other people, unfortunately, like you, who's going to suffer some consequences as well. So we want to talk to you about your involvement so we fully understand. Right now, all we know is what we can see from the investigation, the records, the cell phone data, surveillance, what we're being told by other people and customers, but we haven't heard the story from you. And that's what we want. We want your side of this. Otherwise, we're forced to just stick with what we know, what the facts have led us to believe. In that case, I would need a lawyer anyway to fight for me. Okay. 
I, I will tell you, I'm, I'm going to give you my business card again in case you lost the last one when you talked to your attorney. Who is your attorney? Um, I contacted, what's his name? Um, um, my dad said he'd hire me, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. Well, we have time to figure it out. And, um, when you get to your attorney, have him give me a call. All right? I really would like to find out who owns these dogs so I don't have to send them to the pound. I definitely don't want that. Um, Are these customers' dogs? What? Um, okay, just to get them back to the owner. Let me grab the... Um, you got the contract or something where you can find out who the owners are? You got everything. He has blankets in his game system. Do you want him to take anything else? Um, just when you go back here, don't reach for anything. Just tell me what you're wanting to get. You close and underwear, buddy. You got some shoes. Um, I still want to be in here. He's got a. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't even see thing. this one. Is there three customer dogs here? Good luck in there. Oh, where is this? Oh. I don't know where that tablet is. You have a tablet. Nick. You have a written tablet. I told him we were ready. I don't know if he's outside or what. He got what? I'm sorry. I didn't hear it's him. a handwritten tablet. Handwritten tablet? Can I grab this real fast? No, no, you can't have it. I can't let you ingest anything. Alright, here's my card. Slip your shoes on. Let's go. Officer Green, you want to put those to the back now? How are we going to secure my door? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave your dad with it. Honey, I'm going to take your cuffs off. I'm not going to do it behind your back. Okay. We, um, I really wish you'd just come to the door. It wasn't you guys me. knew we wouldn't go away. It wasn't me. I didn't even know. I had no idea. But I Put your do this. Back. I've never been in trouble. I can't do this. Well, you, you started out big. This is a RICO case. It's engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you're facilitating it at your address and taking oh money. God. No. So, like I said, when you're when you're a lawyer, when you talk to your lawyer, have him reach out to me. I'll be glad to talk to you. Sorry, come this way for his life. You were having one. If there's anything on you that shouldn't be, it's on poker your stick. No. Let me check your pockets. Can I get their phone back? No, we've we've wasted enough time. You wouldn't even come to the door a while ago. They're they're ready. I love you, babe. What a fucking hero. That fucking piece of shit. Right there, everything's recorded, so be careful what you say. <laughs> I Monty, you fat fucking piece of shit. Fucking glory hound, you fucking hero. The suspects were arrested and now face 250 charges, including theft, cruelty to animals, and engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. While the law takes its course, the question remains. Is justice truly served when the victims have endured so much? What do you believe would be a fitting punishment for such a crime? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.